So, I, I assume most of you have been following at least somewhat the news as of late. At least something related to newsworthiness. At least something of the world around you. And you might have been noticing a trend. So, I read an article recently, I forget where, but it was called The Competency Crisis. And it was noticing, you know that word noticing, you better not do that. You just consume goy. You don't think about nothing. You hear me? Better. But I've been noticing what a lot of people have now been parroting as the competency crisis. The belief that because the boomers will only hire, you know, the edumacated people, because there is no job training anymore, because the degree should have gotten you it, because we're forcing minorities and such into our positions of power, because of all of these things, on an industrial scale and all of the complex systems that we rely on to, you know, have our society function, are falling apart. And basically, like all roads that led back to Rome, and it was talking about the way that, you know, for instance, the aqueducts and other complex systems of their time stopped working because the children that were born with them didn't know how to repair or maintain them people that did eventually died out, so they simply stopped working, stopped functioning, and society crumbled that way, and we reverted back to a primary, primalistic almost state. And you project that forward a little bit, and it makes sense. Just look at, you know, superconductors. How many places in the world even can remake them? Just look at the Apollo program. We lost we lost the freaking science to be able to make it. Now, we could rebuild the Apollo program, obviously. But we couldn't rebuild it as we did then. Like, people who built it are gone for the most part. What's that walking? One sec. Am I seeing things, or were there feet there? Or is that just a bug with the sun? I think it was just a sun blinded bug. Oh, it's a wandering trader. Okay. Sorry, it's hardcore mode. I have to be a little bit spooky. Don't want anything dropping on my head. Yeah, but anyways. Sorry for that. I get sidetracked easily because I'm a Spurg. Very high octane autism. But yeah, so. In the competency crisis, and it relates to modern day, it, it almost makes sense when you think about it because all of these complicated systems that we rely upon, we're forgetting the lore and how to recreate them. We're forgetting how to maintain them. And then we're also expediting this by hiring people that simply don't deserve to be in those positions of power. We transition from a, medi uh, a fucking mediocracy to diversity as the article said, we entered into a new epoch of self-destruction. And I don't think the article takes any racial tones with it, but I can't overlook them and how they apply. And the ar article also doesn't mention the uh, females entering the workforce as a direct correlation with the competency crisis, but I notice the parallels almost immediately and will expand upon it. But yeah, have you noticed as well all of these systems you rely upon are starting to break down? The internet itself might fall. Think about it for a second. Like, maintaining the internet is not an easy job. And as these tech industries fill with more and more of the goy slop, more and more of these, uh, women in STEM, quote-unquote, and all of the other types. How long will it all hold together? And what does a post-internet world even look like? Let's say we do fall, and we don't get AI to solve our issues for you, or we do get AI and we corrupt it with wokeness. What does this end up looking like? And how does all of this come together? Wandering trader drinks milk. So that's why, if I were you, I would consider having backup computer hardware that isn't paused. 
I .e. doesn't have Intel Management Engine on it, and you know, all of your old media ready. At least enough to last you the rest of however long you intend to live. Because the internet as we know it, and a lot of these complicated systems we rely on, like new computer hardware, new computer pieces, there may be an end to it all soon. I know it sounds very prepperish, very schizo, very psycho, but I truly think that within your lifetime, what happens could be something atrocious like that. You know, and while yes, there are plenty of people that know how to build a computer, like a basic one, like how many people in the world can actually manufacture all the, you know, semiconductors that we rely upon, a lot of the intricate machineries, like just look at a hard drive, for instance, and how, you know, obscenely complicated even just a hard drive is at its core. Like reproducing a lot of this stuff, you know, it's not going to be that easy to do, even a solid state drive, you know. So when all of that happens, when it all boils down and we're in a position where, you know, competency has hit its meteoric low, where there is no one left to do these jobs, you know, we might not even have power in our houses. You might, you know, if you hadn't considered a solar array before all of this goes down, you might just be stuck in the Stone Age, you know, living a 1900s lifestyle. Except you don't know how to farm. You don't know how to do any of these things. And so if you have the free time, like I have, it might be time to learn about, you know, crop rotation and all of the other elements that, you know, have you have a long-term sustainable farm. Because, you know, when everything crumbles, maybe humanity goes back to a pre-industrialized era. Maybe we revert back to pre-society or own. After all, if, you know, dating and mating markets tend to, you know, predict the future, and since we're reverting back to, you know, around 10 to 20% of the males getting all the females back in hunter-gatherer tribes, maybe that's what the future looks like. Maybe, just maybe, all we're going to have is small hunter-gatherer tribes. We're going to have to exist and subside by that. Maybe, maybe future is this bleak totalitarian Marxist heck hole. Maybe you'll own nothing and be happy. Who knows, but the reality of the future is, is that we're entering unpredictable times, so, you know, given the fact that competency is on the decline, that we're going to become the third world across the entirety of the globe now, the, the age of, you know, learning, the age of uh, mediocrity, the age of you know, people being able to express themselves in ways, you know, well, having a freedom of expression may be ending soon. And as such, you know, with all of the values that we've dreamt up, that we've forced into the world going away, it may be time to consider, you know, what a, how do I protect myself from the future and its elements? How do I exist in a world where, you know, a solar array and farming might be you know, feasible as my, my future. And I'm certainly considering at least getting a solar array set up, getting some nice plot of land, you know. I'm too young for solar panels to realistically last me the rest of my life. They last around 20 years. So I, I would need, like, another solution. Maybe I'll consider, like, generator-based solutions, but just something where I can, you know, exist without the need for anyone else, period. And, you know, this boils over into video games as well, like complicated systems, like live service video games might be dying, which would be a good thing, but if the entire industry goes and all of the systems that hold together, <sighs> like the internet go, and it doesn't matter too much at the end of the day, right? And maybe just being alive would be good enough for a lot of people and breathing fresh air without, you know, global whole calm worlds heal on your back. But we'll have to see where it takes us. I do hope that the hubris of all of this woke, you know, ideology comes crashing down around us and we're left with, you know, just this primeval promoter soup of human existence. Because if society boils down to the point where, you know, we're at our base instincts, then a lot of the things that have protected society, that society has protected uh, us from, 
might become useful then, like violence then becomes something which the state doesn't have a majority on, so then you can have individual violence and enact it and enact your will on others. So preparing or thinking about that as a situation would be very lovely, especially if you have firearms. You can, in a future like that, you might be able to take what you want, you might be able to exert force over others, you might be able to do all sorts of horrible things that society prevents you from doing now. And then, you know, so honestly, how do you plan to be a post-apocalyptic war warlord? Do you intend to veer off into your own thing and just defend your land? Do you plan to enslave others and make your own little war band type organization? Like, if we do revert to pre-Roman times, like, you know, what quality of life do you intend to lead and how do you intend to lead it? And all of those things are interesting and should be thought of because things are falling apart around you, you know, and to what extent they fall apart is anyone's guess, but, you know, if you just look at the fires in Ohio from that train, just look at the recent explosions across all sorts of chemical plants, planes are, you know, going to be falling out of the sky soon, mark my words, by the way. Like, if you think the aviation industry has had a good uh, track record in the past, you're going to be utterly stunned by the beauty and diversity that's in our skies very soon, you know, and a lot of this could affect you, like, you know, if you think you're immune to this, like, even me, someone who's prepared fairly well for the incoming apocalypse, I can't control a plane crashing into my house, like, that's just it, you know, it was nice going, but sometimes you lose the lottery, and so all of these things do affect you, and that is what it is, you can put yourself in a good position, but fate might have another idea. And with that, you know, hopefully fate smiles upon you, and just think about the world collapsing around you and how you're going to react to it, and how you're going to deal with the incoming competency crisis. And, you know, analyze it in its proper terms. Use race realism and another few aspects, and the realize, and the actual effect of hypergamy and on the system and how it's going to develop. And with that, have a good day.